Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. It's Five Ways Wednesday, and today I'm going to show you five ways to use the Logan and Lenora wristlet clutch. We have just introduced the Logan and Lenora brand to TheSensibleMama.com, and I'm so excited to be offering this brand because they make fantastic products. I think they make a great addition to the already great products that we carry in our store, so if you want to check out anything by Logan and Lenora, I'd love it if you'd come shop at TheSensibleMama.com. All right, so the first way that I'm gonna show you how to use this bag is just as a diaper bag for quick trips out. I'm actually able to fit everything in here that I usually need with me. Again, not if I'm gonna be out all day long, but for a quick trip, I can get it all in there with no problem. The first thing that I like to do is attach my keys over here to the D-ring on the side. That way I can always get to them really fast. I usually have a carabiner on my keys, but mine recently broke. So all I did was just attach my keys to the clasp right here, and then attach the clasp to the D-ring so that my keys are right there on the front. In the front zipper portion of the bag, I just have things for in case we need to stop for a really quick bite to eat. I like to carry more with me if we know that we're going out to a restaurant, but if I'm not really sure if we're gonna stop somewhere, I just wanna be prepared in case. What I like to do is keep a be neat with me, and then I just tuck some utensils down in here as well. I usually toss a dapple wipe or two in there as well, but I don't have any at the moment, so I'll have to add those when they arrive. There's also still plenty of space in here to put a cell phone as well, so that's usually where I toss that if I don't have it in my hand or in my back pocket. In the main portion of the bag, I have everything else that I need for my son. First, I have a small set piece in the Donatella Sweet Shop print, but this is packed as a wallet for me. I have a Be Charged in there without my cards in it at the moment, just because I don't like showing those. And then I will usually put lip gloss in here, some hair ties and bobby pins, and anything else that I might be grabbing for for myself. I have one pocket cloth diaper, baby powder, my Jujube Be Dry, a wipe pouch filled with wipes, and down in the bottom, I have a Go Stack. Um, we've kind of been munching on this over the weekend while we were out, but I originally had Oreos in here, crackers here, and goldfish in there. And what I love about this is the inside of this clutch is PUL lined, so that does mean if any of these snacks like Oreos, which can smudge and kind of like leave grimy stains, if they get in here, it just wipes right off, no problem. The second way that I have this packed is for nursing needs. Um, one thing that I love about this clutch is that they have made this part here with the zipper on the front really slouchy and stretchy, and you might wonder why they did that, um, and I think the reason why is because this bag, you can actually get anything into this front pocket, no matter how full the main part of the bag is. So I've got this bag packed really full in the main part, and you can see I still have so much space here. I've put um, two sets of crackers in here because I was always getting hungry when I was breastfeeding, so I liked to have something to snack on while I was nursing. Um, but this front pocket is just so stretchy and slouchy that you can really fit lots of stuff in there. I still had plenty of room left over. In the main part of the bag, I have all the things that I always wanted to have with me when I was nursing. I have a backup nursing bra and nursing tank, just in case I happened to have a leak through. I have my itsy ritzy nursing scarf, and down in the bottom I have a nine ounce swell bottle, because um, nursing always seems to dehydrate, so it's good to have a little bit of water so that you can rehydrate while you're nursing. I have this one packed for formula fed babies. In the front pouch here we have some shout wipes. Um, my son never really had reflux when he was breastfeeding, but when he was nine months old we had to switch to formula and all of a sudden he had reflux and was spitting up a lot and often, no matter how hard I tried, it ended up on me. So I like to have shout wipes with me so that I could clean myself off if I needed to. In the main part of the bag I have some baby friendly face and hand wipes just to get that little face clean after maybe a spitting up episode. This Munchkin brand formula dispenser. I don't have any formula right now, but um, I used to love carrying this because you can actually get three bottles worth of formula in there and carry it all in one place. And then all you have to do is rotate the lid and open up the spout to get the right 
section to pour into your bottle. I got this on Amazon and I'll leave the link down below. I also have a burp cloth, of course, a bottle, and lastly, some hand sanitizer because I always wanted to sanitize my hands before I started handling my son's bottle. When I am out for really quick trips with my son, I usually just carry him on my hip, but sometimes, you know, I end up getting stuck in a really long line or my son is just being really fussy and trying to squirm out of my arms. And so I always like to have a baby carrier with me for those kind of quick trips so that I can just throw him on real fast. And usually that will appease him if he's in a bad mood. So I have this packed up for a quick trip if I know I'm gonna be just carrying my son in my arms, but I wanna have a carrier with me. So I have the front zipper pocket packed as a mommy pocket. I just have my phone in here. This is an iPhone 6S Plus and it does fit in there, no problem. And then I would usually keep a be charged in there to keep my ID and cards and cash, things like that. And then the inside of this bag is the perfect size for keeping a ring sling. This is my newest ring sling by Easy Feel Products. I love this sling because it's actually got a padded kind of stitched shoulder pad right here so it actually doesn't pull on your shoulder it's nice and comfy so um, i can keep this threaded in my clutch and i can just throw it on real fast if i need to wear my son and it's all right here nice and compact all right and lastly i have this one packed as a little clutch for me when i'm out without my baby i usually don't carry a lot of stuff so this can actually fit a lot more than i have in here but this is just kind of my everyday carry in the front pocket, I have my cell phone, and I also have a pen down in the bottom, because you just always seem to be finding need for those. On the inside, I have my Bluetooth earbuds, a headband, a little hoodie all rolled up so that if I'm in the grocery store where it's always cold, I can just throw that on real fast. I have, once again, a small set piece that has my Be Charged in it, <laughs> as well as my fidget spinner. This one is made by Alcar, and I love this one. It's so cool looking. Um, and I just have to say, I have a little bit of an obsession with fidget spinners. These kind of help me stay off of my phone when I'm bored out in public um, so that I'm more accessible. You know, when you have a phone in your hand, people just won't really approach you. And I kind of feel like I'm trying to work on that, just being more approachable. So people will come up to you if you have a fidget spinner in your hand, but they won't if you're playing on your phone. That's been my experience anyway. And the last thing I have down in there is my swell bottle, which <laughs> these days tends to be filled with ginger ale more often than with water. Because of this pregnancy, I've been so sick, so I like to have ginger ale just in case. All right, you guys, so that was five ways to pack the Logan and Lenora wristlet clutch. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that it showed you some creative ways to use this bag. It is so versatile, just <laughs> such a great bag. Um, it is for sale, like I mentioned, at thesensiblemama.com, so if you're interested, we have several prints to choose from, so come check us out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.